Hi, this is Darren Lyle. I thought I'd work on UV mapping this dumpster. It's uh, part of a larger scene, so it's all one piece. So it can be moved around um, easily um, here. But what I'd like to do is UV map it. So uh, let's see how we might do that. First of all, I'm going to go over here to my UV editing screen layout. So let's go into edit mode by hitting the tab key and I'm going to select the inside of this uh, piece first. So there's the inside and then I'm going to press shift H to isolate it. So for this, I think I'm going to use seams. I'm going to press control up arrow to get to full screen here and go to edge mode and I'll just select um, edges down here on the bottom and along the vertical corners as well and then control E and mark seams. All right, let's go back and see how that works. I'm going to hit A to select all, U to unwrap and there is the um, first map of the dumpster. Now, I've got a stretch turned on here so we can kind of see the blue um, outline or the blue uh, fill of the UV islands. Um, I'm going to turn on um, island selection mode down here. And when I click on one, I can move them around here. Um, but first, what I think I want to do is get a, a checker pattern on here to see how I did. The key for UV mapping is to make sure and hide or minimize any visible seams and to try and minimize any stretching because that stretching will uh, transfer to your textures. So to do that, I'm going to create a new checker pattern. I'm going to go to new and I'll call this, uh, I'll just call this UV grid and I'll select UV grid right down here. And 1024 by 1024 is fine. So I'm going to click OK. There is my checker pattern, but I can't see it over here. I'm even in a textured view and I can't see it. So to see it, I've got to go to my node editor, which is right over here. And what I need to do is create a new material over here to accept the new checker uh, grid uh, texture. So I'm going to create a new material. I'll call this uh, UV grid. And here, notice I've turned on use nodes. And for this, I just want to go to Add, uh, Texture, Image, Texture. And I'll select the UV grid. And there it is. And I'll also hook it up so I can see it in a render. Notice I'm using the uh, Cycles render engine. So we've got our checker pattern on here. It looks a little stretched here. Let's go back to the UV image editor. And let's figure out which face this is. So if I select this one and move it around, you can see that the checker pattern does not move on the front here. Let's take a look at this. There it is. That's it. So I'm going to rotate this. And I think this is the way it should go, like so. And I'm going to uh, scale it just a bit and you can see the checker pattern move as you move it around here. So generally speaking you want all your checker patterns to be um, uh, squarish <laughs> rather than rectangular. So now let's get these packed in for for now. I'm going to select, I'm going to hit A to select all the UV islands and I'm going to just there's a couple ways you can do this, but I think what I'm going to do is press Control A to average island scale and then Control P, and that'll put them all in 
the zero to one space. Ultimately, everything has to be within this square to export a UV map out. So everything needs to be in here at the end when we're all done UV mapping. Well, let's take a look at the outside here. So we've got the inside. To select these pieces, I'm just hovering over a piece and hitting the L key to select linked faces. So I'm just gonna select that and press Shift H to isolate this. Now let's try um, seams again with this as well. I'm gonna want edges and let's, I'm gonna press Alt, select, and select the edges around here. Just using Alt, Shift, select now. And let's do Control E, mark seam. All right, so we select everything, hit the U key, unwrap, and we did all right, but look how there's kind of this skewing going on. And in addition, because of the angles of these things, and in addition, we've got these visible seams here, right along the corner. And since this is the outside of the, um, of the dumpster, that's not going to be good. We don't want visible seams. When we put a texture on this, the texture won't flow uh, seamlessly across that corner. So we're going to need to do something about that and this skewing here too. I don't like that. So how to deal with this? Well, first of all, I think what we just need to do is use a different method of projection. So what I'm gonna do is change to face mode and just select the front faces here, line up the faces. We could even hit the one key on the numpad to go to front view. And instead of using seams, what I'm going to do is just go to U and use Project from View. Let's move that aside. Um, and let's do the same to this side over here. Like this. And I'll hit the 3 key, Project from View. And let's do that on the other side as well. All right, so let's see how we did. I'm going to select everything, and here's our pieces that we projected. Now, let's take a look at them. I'll turn the texture view back on here, and let's take a look at them. Now the squares here are very uh, uniform, very square, very nice. But the issue is we still have that, um, that edge there that is going to be a break in our texture. So we need to sew these up. So let's do that. Over here, what I'm gonna do is move this guy right next to him, go to edge mode, select, I'm gonna alt select that edge. And then what we can do is under UVs, there is um, a tool called stitch and, or the V key. So I'm just going to press the V key. And what's cool about this is, I don't know if you can see this, there's this green uh, preview as to what's gonna happen. It's gonna move this over the to where this green preview is. Here, let me turn, oops, let me undo this. Let me uh, turn off stretch here so we can see that. So I hit the V key. Now you can see that green there. Um, now what's, cool is if you look down here, you can see a lot of different tools, but the one I like here is I for islands. If you hit the I key, it'll switch which island it will move. So now it will move the big island to the smaller one, where if I, is, if I hit I, now it'll move the smaller one to the big one, which I think is kind of cool. That's a nice tool. So let's once again select this edge here press the V key, and click the mouse. Okay, so now we've got this nicely uniformed UV island stitched together. And if we move it around, we can see the texture flows smoothly around that corner. That's nice. Now I'm not gonna worry about the bottom or the back here because that probably won't be seen. I just wanted to make sure that these front edges were all sewn up. All right, so let's uh, control A, control P, and pack those in. Also, I'm gonna click the rotate button
box here so that that front piece is uh, right side up in my UV map. All right, so there's that piece. Let's press Alt-H to bring everything back. And now let's keep going. Um, for the top here, I'll press the L key to select it, Shift-H to isolate it, hit the period key on the numpad to focus it up. For this, it's um, a one-sided piece. There is no thickness to it on the bottom here. So I think all I need to do is just press U and hit unwrap. Now I don't need to mark seams or anything, and this is just going to be generally um, uh, a single color with, you know, scratches and smudges and dirt and everything on it. So I think this is all I need. I'm just going to rotate this so it's like that. So there's that one. So I just want to clean up these pieces here. I want to UV map these pieces. So I think what I'll do is just select it and press U. And this time I'll use the Smart UV Project. Now that's just going to try and break these up as best as it can. So let's just see what happens here. We'll choose sm Smart UV Project and click OK. And that to me looks pretty good. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, I'm going to select this piece here, hit the L key, and U, Smart UV Project. And the same thing with this here. And let's get these guys over here. Okay, so we have all of our pieces now UV mapped. We'll hit the A key to select everything, and of course it's a mess over here. So all we really need to do is press the A key to select all, hit Control A to average island scale, and that will try and put all of the pieces in um, scale in proportion to the way it is on the 3D object. And then press Control P to pack them all in to the zero to one space. And there we have our UV map of a dumpster.